Hey Vinyl Community, it's LJ. And this video is a response to Miko's thread about Finnish music. Before I get there, let me mention that I'd like to ask everyone to look down in the comments section for a link to a video posted by Vinyl Community member Billy Crayoni, who is uh, looking for help from the Vinyl Community to get some of his music released on vinyl. Billy's done a fantastic write-up, a fantastic video. Uh, I'd do it no justice by repeating it here. So if you get a chance, and if you're interested, if you're familiar with Billy or if you're not, uh, click the link down in the description and please uh, take a look at Billy's video. Uh, moving on, Miko, who, man, Miko, I'm so pumped that you're posting videos now. Man, that is just awesome, absolutely awesome. Miko had been a longtime stalker of my videos, and um, all I knew at one point was he was a stalker from overseas. And I was good with that, because it meant he was more than arm's length away from me in case he was dangerous. Now that he's posting videos, and I know him, and I've seen him, and, and I've talked to him, now I know he's dangerous. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Miko, uh, Miko, I love you, and you know it. Uh, Miko has sent me some great stuff over time, and, and I've really come to appreciate Miko and his comments, and and the things that he's introduced me to. So he posted a thread and said he wanted to know more about Finns or see what we have for Finnish music. So the first thing I did was I raced right over to Wikipedia because I need a list of Finnish bands to just really know and to not, you know, talk shit. And what I found is that I really only know a couple. And, and I hope that's not a bad reflection on me. I knew um, him or H-I-M the, uh, I'll call it a metal band, for lack of a better term, from watching uh, Bam Margera in his show on MTV. He was a big fan of him. So I got to know them, and they do a wicked remake of Chris Isaac's Wicked Game, and I think it, it bests Chris Isaac's version. But a band that, let me uh, kind of turn a spotlight on here, is one that Miko introduced me to, and it's a band called Tarot. The way this happened was I had made my first cassette community video. Uh, of course, many know heavy metal is the backbone of, or the, the biggest part of what I listen to and, and part of me. Of course, I split off into other genres. So knowing that, seeing that video, uh, I got a package in the mail maybe a couple of weeks later. Miko sent me an email and said he wanted to send me a mixtape. And I told him, don't bother, it's expensive, you're in Finland, I'm in the U.S. But he insisted, and I'm glad he did, because what Miko did was he made me a tape of... Tarot. Tarot um, is a Finnish heavy metal band, and their first album, The Spell of Iron, came out in 1986. Uh, there's been a couple different releases on CD since then, but let me tell you, if you're looking for a challenge, and if you're looking for a difficult album to find on vinyl, you go look for Tarot. Uh, even just looking on eBay, just for haha's before shooting this, the cheapest copy is over $100 US. It's absolutely insane. Anyways, what I thought was cool was not only does Miko have this album, but he sat down in a way that hasn't been done in, in decades, you know, when you're friends in, in school, and you put your album on, and as it plays, you make a cassette for somebody and say, you know, here's, here's a copy of this, and that's what Miko did with this, which just really threw back to an old school way of doing things, which was awesome. So this cassette is The Spell of Iron, which is Tarot's first album, and it's also The Spell of Iron MMXI, which is to celebrate the 25th anniversary, Tarot completely re-recorded their debut album, The Spell of Iron. So there's some additional information about the different band members, and I believe three of four or five band members, it used to be, it started as what, a four-piece and three of the four are actually still with the band today, which is just awesome. Tarot's official website is wingsofdarkness.net. It's a fantastic website that you might want to check out. A link to Miko's channel is down here in the comments. Tarot has released um, nine albums. Uh, as I last knew, they toured Finland, and this is just from their website, in 2011. <clears throat> still active, still touring, still a killer band. And uh, their website obviously named uh, after the lead-off single from this album. So the reason this tape isn't here is because it's in a cassette deck. So rather than tell you what Tarot sounds like, why don't I let you listen to what Tarot sounds like. And thank you, Miko, by the way, for introducing me to Tarot. Uh, if this is, over time, the only Finnish band that I'm truly, truly aware of and immersed in, I'm perfectly happy with that. 
thank you very much. Folks, if you're not subscribed to Miko yet, the link is in the uh, description and please go ahead and subscribe to him. He's putting out some fantastic videos. He has the widest watch of anyone I've ever met in my life and I think it's cool. And he's probably the only guy that can sit in a chair and do a video with his, uh, his drink on the arm of the chair and never spill a drop. I almost spill my soda every time I pick it up. Oh, Miko, great that thread. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for watching. And here is Tarrant.